Canada's largest cancer charity. And we raise money and service to Princess Margaret Cancer Centre, which is one of the top five cancer research centres in the world. And we raise money to help conquer cancer, which unfortunately is the leading cause of death in Canada. You know, when we think of some of the stories recently, I think, you know, the world was kind of caught by surprise by Kate Middleton's diagnosis. And before before her, it was Hollywood actor Chadwick Bosman, who was just 43 when he died of colon cancer. And we are hearing about more millennials facing cancer. So what's going on here? And that was so heartbreaking to hear Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis and you're right uh, more millennials are getting cancer unfortunately millennials are the generation with the fastest rising cancer rates around the world uh, between 1990 and uh, 2019 we actually saw a nearly 80 percent increase in cancer among people ages 18 to 49 and we're expecting a 30 percent increase by 2030. What kind of cancers are younger people facing? There's actually over 12 different cancers that are in uh, on the increase among millennials around the world, and it varies by country. In North America, we are seeing quite a rise in gastrointestinal cancers. Um, and the cancer that really is uh, rising among young people uh, in North America is colorectal cancer. This is becoming a very serious problem and, and we need to help cancer patients and young people facing cancer. So we're looking at things like early detection through a simple blood test, which would pick up colorectal cancers as well as several other cancers, years in some cases before you have symptoms. Can we zero in on the blood test? Um, because I think people would hear that and go, oh, that sounds amazing. It sounds relatively simple. Is that something that's already happening or is it waiting approval or where is that at? It's something that's going through clinical trials, which is the stage all new cancer therapies and tests would need to go through before they receive approval, but we're getting close. We've known for a long time that there is something called circulating tumor DNA in a person's bloodstream when they uh, are developing cancer. Um, a few years ago, our challenge was we knew it was in a person's bloodstream, but we couldn't necessarily tell you where in the body the cancer was, which of course isn't very helpful. Um, but now the technology at the Princess Margaret is so much more refined, we can actually pick up over 50 different common cancers and tell you where in your body that cancer signal is coming from. We actually think the future of cancer detection over the next seven to 10 years, even earlier if we could raise more money, would be you go to your GP or your family doctor, you go for routine blood work, usually every year for a physical, you will know you have cancer at uh, what we might think of as almost a precancerous stage or stage zero um, before you're experiencing symptoms. Um, and we're not the only ones developing this blood test, but our blood test is one of the most sophisticated and sensitive blood tests in the world. Um, so we're really excited about that for all Canadians and for the world. Cancer is the leading cause of death in the country. And if you are concerned about unusual symptoms, whether that's pain, fatigue, unusual bleeding or swelling, or someone you love is experiencing these symptoms, it's important to speak to a doctor. In most young people, it's not likely to be cancer, but the best kind of cancer if you do have to get cancer is cancer caught early. So if you are experiencing these symptoms, you do want to speak to a doctor. We also want to prevent more people from getting cancer in the first place though. And that's really where cancer research does become so important. We need to accelerate breakthroughs like the early detection blood test. We need to get rid of toxic chemotherapy, which we know we can do with more immunotherapies and molecular therapies. That is funded by donors and in cancer research, because this is such a serious and complex disease, every dollar counts. 
And the really good news for your listeners is we're getting so close. As Canadians, as Torontonians, in the next 10 years, we can really make a massive difference and we can turn this into the deadliest disease that causes great fear and hardship into a disease that is manageable and where people don't have to be afraid to tell their children and their loved ones that they are dealing with cancer.